Yes, Rocky Marciano's... The Rock retired Joe Lewis for good in 1951 before beating the champion Jersey Joe Walcott in 1952. He the champion and gave him a really bad time. Even he had to admit his limitations. I was a strong guy who trained hard, but I didn't have the talent of Sugar Ray Robinson. In fact, Rocky would bend the rules to their limits and sometimes beyond, as the British contender Don Cockle found out in his vicious battle in 1955. You see, in this knockdown, he clumps Cockle one when Don's on the floor. Marciano seemed to go berserk in the ring, and if you told him afterwards he'd done this, he'd look at you astonished. He honestly couldn't believe he had. hoping Frank Brown would stop it. Don Cockle had done his country proud. Echoing in Don Cockle's ears are the ringside cheers earned even when the fight was stopped. For the valiant courage of the British challenger won unanimous applause. With the scars of battle on his battered face, it'll be a long time before the man who never gave up forgets his tough fight. While some American sports writers are even now accusing Marciano of many fouls, Gallant Don tries not to show his disappointment. One American headline later sums it all up with, Rocky, world champ, Don, champion of courage.